Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing uh, Kingdom of Might in Europa Universalis 4. I'm going to go ahead and transfer some more of this stuff to our subject. Um, I like how we have British Mexico in the war. It's kind of them to join. I don't know where they live. They're in the war, though. They keep on sending us letters saying we have this many troops and, you know, we're this enthusiastic about how things are going. <laughs> Outside of that, I don't really know. So even though he's my ally, I can't march into his own land. That's cool. Suffered a disease outbreak up there. I mean, he was on 98 war scores, so... What am I supposed to do? Supplies 24, 24, 25. Well, it's going to be equal tech. We have, we have a huge advantage over him, but... I just don't really see any reason for me to be the one to fight him. No? Why waste the manpower? Speaking of manpower, I'm probably going to want to switch off of one of these things soon. Not the missionary strength. Probably not that one. Probably the manpower recovery rate. We're going to be going to administrative ideas soon, which means we're going to have uh, the ability to merc up if we want to. And... I mean, what if I just take a separate piece? I mean, I have 37 individual war score with him. It'd be a separate deal. I'd have to pay an extra 50 AE. Signing a separate piece will reduce British Mexico's trust. Why the hell does British Mexico care about it? Are they not considered to be a subject because they're a subject of a subject? That's weird. They don't care if Great Britain did it because Great Britain is their overlord. But guess what? Great Britain's in a PU, which means Great Britain's leader is me. <laughs> so he's upset with me. Even though if it were... Yeah, it's just it's just weird. A level 3 diplomat. Uh, we already have one. Wow, this guy is old. 64. It's probably the, it's probably 30 years old. I probably hired this guy from the nobles. I must have, right? Uh, where else would I have gotten a half-price level 3 uh, improved relations over time guy? Don't you dare. Alright. I am kind of tempted to just take a separate piece. Get him knocked out of the collision now. But I feel like that would be impatient. Alright, we're only at one stability. More stability would help out with conversions, but the cost would be pretty high right now. Clerical dom dom dominance. I did look around at uh, global trade, didn't really see very many good options. That's as much as I want to spend, because we're going to have an administrative idea group soon. There it is. Cool. A complete victory, the second Muscovite crusade against Nogai. Uh, defender casualties, so Nogai lost 17k troops. We lost uh, 11k in that. Muscovy lost 20... 68,000 altogether. Are they looking at the right number over here? Yes. Most of which died to attrition, actually. The Russian winter. 11,000 artillery to attrition. Wow. Muscovy seeds Perm, Sarai, Samara, Bash, Ortozan, Simbirsk. Jesus, wow. Muscovy pays money. Kingdom of Mike gets ducats. <laughs> wow. She's telling me that no guy really doesn't care about uh, me helping him there. Wait, that's not my land. And he cleverly avoided all of the provinces that I have claim on. There's no way he can hold on to all of that though, right? Alright, so you have a truce with me, which means you have to lead the coalition, which means relative strength of the alliance is weaker, which means maybe... 
Oh, so close. Relative strength of the coalition is so close. Alright, who else is in the coalition that is weakish that I could maybe do the same thing with? So that we may continue to attack. Is anyone even at war in here? Can't tell. Current wars. Uh, we got Bengal, Ethiopia, Ilan, Newick, Axum. Nobody in Europe. Darn. There should be a way to filter this by continent. That's a good idea, Roomba. You should write that down. Um, well, I don't usually write ideas down because it tends to get kind of distracting, but it is a good idea, so I will. Um, current wars screen in ledger. At the very least, a continent filter, just so you could have, like, you know, not every war in the entire game all on one screen. It would be swell. So, um,. Right, we're at peace. I was going to sell ships to Great Britain, I remember. Uh, you, sir. You want to buy some ships? I hear you like ships. Give me 150 ducats? Sounds cool. Goodbye. Now you'll be able to participate in all the wars. Integration rate still at 3 t per tick. Uh, there were a couple other people, though. Perhaps I could threaten... I think Lithuania was the weak point. They were the one closest to acceptance. This guy's actually got only 26 relative strength of the alliance. I guess he considers his allies to be more important than the fact that he's in a coalition. Um, so... Leading a union, Brandenburg, Sim. There's been a lot of suggestions that we should just break the alliance with Brandenburg. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because he's got 66 aggressive expansion. He'd just turn right around and join the coalition instantly. Because he'd immediately become outraged, regardless of, like, anything. Which would be silly. It'd be very silly to suddenly have to, uh... Deal with that. Ottomans have slandered my merchants. See, in this version of the game, they are just bastards. And they slander... Like, everyone takes espionage ideas, and everyone does stuff that you don't want them to do. We really want to get the global trade institution embraced, and then take tech. You can keep on waiting for a little bit more spy network strength. But also, it's going to cost a fair bit of money. Embrace the institution. 4,000 ducats. We'll get better slowly. Between episodes, I took a few decisions to increase uh, missionary strength. There were two in there. I've decided not to take the Advancement of Religion Act because I feel like it's a good short-term benefit, the missionary strength, because you need to you need to convert. But after you've converted everything and your missionaries are just sitting around, then you just have plus one unrest in every province all the time for the rest of the game. So anything that increases global unrest, I tend to shy away from. All right, choose timer. We've got France in 11, Mecklenburg in June of 10. So I have a claim on Mecklenburg, and he is allied to Lubick, and he's also in a league with Lubick. This would be a way to get to war with Lubick without having to deal with the uh, institution, or the, the coalition. And we did, at one point, have an, op an offer to vassalize Mecklenburg. Technically, that would be using a better CB, and he does have a core, but it's my core. I mean, I suppose it'd be good, right? If we look at culture... I don't accept anything in this area, and he's part of the Pomeranian culture group. So he would accept everything. It'd be better in his hands anyway. Speaking of culture, I have, uh... I accepted a promoted culture slot. I could promote, like... something. We're already Empire tier. I can't culture shift. It's it's just not possible. We're too spread out right now. I think I'm going to take the mission to vassalize Mecklenburg. The diplomatic reputation would also be nice because it'll help us to integrate Great Britain faster. All right, and these guys we're not trying to get claims on. We're just trying to get spy network strength for study and technology.
Speedboat we'll continues to take tech. Bureaucratic coup is ticking up. Shouldn't matter. We do have a slight malice to manpower recovery rate right now. We can claim on Ruppin. It's fine. This guy's got a claim on it anyway. Wait, what was that one in the middle? Institution spread rate in income from vassals. Oh, you know what I haven't done in this entire time? I've completely forgotten that PU, junior PU members, it's been like 50 years, I've never even looked at this damn thing. Um, they have a different interaction. They don't pay you, you have to siphon income. I should have been taking advantage of this. He doesn't have any loans, but he's going too soon. Look at that freaking income, my god. Alright, you are small enough, and I'm not going to integrate you for a while. I am going to enforce your religion. Which is not even that horrible. That's curious. It's showing improved relations, 175 minus 3 yearly, and yet I have a guy improving with him. A shadow dip, Matt, granted. Let's wait and see what next month. 134. No, it is, it is going up. Okay. Let's just be that I hadn't improved with him for quite a while, and then I sent out the shadow dip, Matt, last episode. Brandenburg has entered into a treaty of support and dependence with the rebellious nation of Saxon Lomburg. Okay, so Brandenburg is going to support the independence of Saxe-Lomburg. This is possibly an opportunity if Brandenburg goes to war via a rebellion. I could do the thing I did earlier. Lend some Gadadieri to uh, Saxe-Lomburg or, or on halt, And then kill, kill Gran uh, Brandenburg. On halt will take back a lot of the lands. And then maybe I can still get Brandenburg. Uh, there was someone who commented that... Um, I, I don't remember the specific creation criteria for Prussia, but... I guess they need one more province. If I had to, you know, I could just transfer there. I could just give it to them, right? What? They need Newmark. They need whatever it is. I could look it up. Once we make him a vassal, if I want him to form the tag Prussia, I think Prussia is better. I don't remember how or why, but I think it is. We are at peace. I could te I could technically lower maintenance for a bit. I think that this is the most important thing I'm doing right now. So uh, this is weird. We're gonna we're gonna allow our tradition to decay a little bit. Ugh. We're gonna turn all of our forts off, every single one. And we're gonna go down to zero maintenance because let's see if we can trigger the collision to attack me. Watch them attack me with all my forts down. If they don't attack me now, they're never gonna attack me. Brandenburgers allied Marinia. Institution cost is 3,807. If I do, if I do find that I'm at the cap again, I'm going to try to find a couple provinces where I can bump it. But it should start spreading much quicker to my country now. Like, we have it in Danzig. We actually have it up here in the middle of nowhere as well. I wonder how long it's been over here. Hmm, not really long enough. Marienburg might have it soon. And by soon, I mean like, what, 28 months? If we don't have 28 months, we're gonna hit the cap again. Magdeburg has left the coalition. It's a good sign. Check and see if Lithuania is now willing to accept the threat. Negative six. I'm going to assume that this is gonna be a good enough location to do some development. And, uh, I don't think I can make these guys loyal, but we'll just do, like, a click here. 3.8 more. Save us three months. Let's see, spread rate is impacted, impacted by 
having a trade depot or stock exchange adjacent has it. Adjacent has lo has it and loyal burgers present. Port neighboring province with global trade adjacent has it. Hmm. So if I give they if I gave this to the burgers, I could get a little bit more. Not enough to really make it reasonable. Alright, our spread rate is at 35% due to port, part of a state, peace, positive stability. I'm kind of wishing we could have more stability. Alright, there's our truce. I already took the mission to vassalize Mecklenburg. Of course, I totally forgot uh, that I was going to do this war. And I have my army at zero maintenance and my forts are all off, but... Uh, it's not going to stop me from declaring war right now. Good relations, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Now he's going to join the coalition. Wait, he can't, he can't. He hasn't existed. He doesn't know of my atrocities. So we should still be able to isolate Lubick, which might make me able to, to do something against the other guy. However, in September of next year, Francis can rejoin the coalition. We do have some unrest. No real progress on them, though. Nice little 10, ten stack of cannons. Alright, now we can declare subjugation. The aggressive expansion is actually full, but that's fine. We'll give it one more month just so we have some more, uh, some more morale. He's gonna pull in Lubick. Lubick is gonna be a, a trade league leader, which is a trade league of one. The other thing I can consider is uh, break alliance, trigger truces. This guy's close. What about like mines? There's some random guy, or maybe Trier, Cologne, Trier. Let's go for Trier. Sure, I want you to break alliance with Frankfurt. Sweet. All right, let's knock him out. That is a good way to make it smaller. And then now, can we threaten Lithuania? So close. Still to six. Looks like that didn't actually affect relative, well, relative strength of the coalition at all. The problem is, I think relative coalition strength is it's considering things like um, manpower pool. So even though a lot of these guys have no troops like at all, it doesn't matter. All right, we will, um, the siege will be very quick either way. Let's just go focus on killing this guy's army. Get an overrun on that one. This is going to be a ridiculously simple war. Still need a lot of money, though. I'm actually going to turn the forts off again. I mean, this is this is it. It's just three provinces, and we've already got everything done. In fact, we can even go down to like no maintenance. Well, not no maintenance because I need the artillery here to reinforce, but like. 50%, 60%, just enough to offset the, uh, the other number. Austria kicked us out. We are a couple months from the cap. 41 day siege of Lubick. Um, I really just want you to give me some prestige or something and go away. Maybe some money would be nice. I mean, I do want your province, but I don't want to take the AE right now. Make you revoke your cores, seems good. Some prestige. Uh, return a core to Pomerania. Hmm, nah. Removing valid rivals seems more appealing to me. Alright, so 23.3 wars, uh, prestige. Money. War reps. Transfer Mecklenburgian trade power. 0% war score. 
Well, that sounds spectacular. Let's do that. Now, how is it that he's not willing to just give me everything? Because we have... We have like 100 war score against this guy, don't we? No, I need your money. That sounds decent. So, are you actually transferring trade power to me? You are. That's cool. It's gonna change in a second. I mean, I don't care. We got two prestige out of it for zero war score. That's really the only reason I did it. Not to mention it increased... Did it? No, it didn't. It didn't increase the length of the truce because there was no war score cost associated. It made no difference at all. Alright, so you are going to become my subject, terrifying vassal. You're gonna give me all your money. You're gonna end all your rivalries because I need the prestige. Kinda silly that I can even do that, but okay. There's our mission done. And missions don't really matter. Now we can turn around and possibly threaten war for your claims. Negative eight reasons. Olsen's not in the coalition. We have good relations with him. I have a claim on it. I'm going to be doing an administrative idea group that's going to increase, decrease the cost of coring soon. So, but it's still, diplomatic integration is still better. I think we should use the subject's claim. Um, let's check Lithuania one more time. Negative two, getting closer. Okay, well... I'm going to take a break here. We're going to go ahead and embrace the institution, and in the next episode, we're going to kill everyone! <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. See you in a bit.